yeah, it's Hobbs Four knocking down your door. All about the guts and gore, blood and pus. Give him some more. He wants bone and entrails spread across the floor. So if you're looking for that theater macabre, bruh, look no more. Sit back and relax and enjoy some Hobbs Four. Thank you for watching Hobbs Four. Hobbs Four. Yeah, and don't forget to like and subscribe and all of that good shit. Good shit. Good shit. What is up, everybody? We are here to review Trimmers, A Cold Day in Hell. That's right. Now, I've only seen a couple of the Trimmers films, but I picked this one up for cheap, and I figured I would review it. Now, I can't label it as Dollar Tree or anything like that, because I believe I got this at a Big Lots or something at some point in time, but, um, but yeah. I've, I've liked all the Tremors films that I have seen. As you can see there, what we have here going on now is we're following Bert Gummer and his son. Of course, you have Michael Gross playing Bert Gummer. And then we have Jamie Kennedy playing his son. Bert has been infected with venom from one of the Graboids. And he has to find a cure because he is slowly dying so they go out to a remote area where the graboids are which is very cold it's an area in Canada and they have to basically extract some type of fluid from the graboids in order to save Bert Gummer And, yes, the reason why this is still sealed is because this was free on demand uh, with Spectrum. And I figured I might as well just save the packaging. So basically, that's what they have to do. They have to find a way to get the venom out from the Graboid. Uh, Bert's slowly dying and there's doctors on hand at this remote location that they're out in Canada. To kind of keep Bert alive. He gets like IV treatments and infusions and stuff. But he still tries to fight because Burt Gummer is Burt Gummer. And he's not going to, you know, he's not going to let anybody take him out without a fight. So, and there's like a group of people there also willing to fight with him to protect everybody from the Graboids. But, uh, this was really entertaining. Extremely entertaining. Um... A lot of references to the original film. In fact, Val's daughter from the first film uh, is in this film. And there's a lot of references that, that Bert uses from the first film. Uh, a little bit of CGI, but it was done the correct way. Very entertaining film. I would definitely highly recommend this one. I know most of you have seen this one. Um... One of my favorite parts is when everybody goes one on one with one of the graboids. It was just hysterical. Um, and Jamie Kennedy was good in this film as well. Uh, of course, you guys know him from the Scream films and pretty much everything. But uh, yeah, this one was entertaining. You know, uh, I've got to see the rest of the Tremors films to really form an opinion on the franchise, but. Uh, Tremors Cold Day in Hell, highly recommended if you've not seen that. If you can get it for cheap on blue, might as well. Uh, this is a two disc set. DVD and Blu-ray. A Cold Day in Hell. Very good climactic ending as well. But definitely worth the value. You get the digital movie as well. So anyways, um, highly recommended. Like I said, CGI is done pretty good. Some parts were cheesy, but I enjoyed Tremors Cold Day in Hell. Catch up with you guys later. This is Hobbs Horror. Peace.